Hey everybody, I got an electronic um, tool haul. Got some um, Ambother um, LED lights. We're gonna unbox, talk a little bit about them. So please stick around and check out the video. I'll see you there. Hey everybody, all right, so I already opened this box and this package is the one we have to open so just pull the, them out of the box so I am impressed um, that they come in an actual um, advertised box they say and bother on the top LED work light so let's get this moved over this one is LED light bar and bother new 961703 um, barcode is um, x-ray 0024 Henry Roger Frank Libra Frank so if you open it up you have a little um, instruction on how to set up the, the, the bolts some information wiring simple stuff like that so here it came with these are two posts so it came with four brackets each light gets two brackets all the hardware take one of these out of the case or the plastic wrap they are very nice I I will tell you that I did hook these up to my power probe and I did power them through a battery I have in my house that's charging. Um, they are pretty bright. Um, they are really nice. Very nice thick aluminum fins. It's got these nuts in the back for the, the, the clamps or the, the bolt mounts. Um, very I didn't order any harnesses because I have harnesses on my truck so I could just the black is ground red is positive simple simple um, they're these are pretty nice and <clears throat> let me know what you guys would like I was thinking on doing a um, an actual testing video where I actually put an amp clamp on it an amp uh, meter and um, we look at the specs um, they're 180 watts per light two lights is 360 watts um, they, they're supposed to do 15 amps a piece let me know guys would you like to actually see if the specifications that they give on Amazon for these cheap lights would you like to see if they actually um, put out what they say they do um, let me know move this one to the side It's a big storm outside, so this one. Take out the trusty knife. This one out. This box is a little damaged, but. They're spotlight and flood combos. Um, same little install packet, instruction packet. Two clamps, one for each light. They look the same as the first ones I showed, but these are seven inch, and the ones if the first ones I showed are nine inch. So if I take these out of the box, take one of these out of the bag, and um, the cables, I am very impressed. They actually look like ten gauge, maybe twelve gauge cable which is very nice. So this is the nine inch. 
And this is the seven inch. Which they don't actually look like seven inch. But let me get a measuring tape. They're not seven inch, even though that they're um, stated as seven inch. They're exact. They're actually six inches and five eighths. Six and five eighths. These are actually larger than nine inches. These are nine inches and three eighths of an inch so nine and three eighths so these are actually rated correctly i'm a little surprised that the seven inches are correct Yeah, they're a good half an inch too short to be seven inches. But um, they are nice. They are pretty nice lights. Um, I paid $28 for I think it was like 23 or 24 dollars for this set and the nine inch set I paid 38 um, I got a discount on I got a discount on the the night uh, the, the seven inch set so I'm just gonna assemble the bracket does come with decent hardware the bolt does not turn so that's pretty nice so once it's in there it doesn't actually turn so you should be able to tighten it with just some that flip this over So you guys can see These are little Allen heads. But um, I would like to know what you guys would like to see. Would you guys actually like to see the, the actual testing to find out if they are what they say they will do for wattage and ampage? I did test the nine inches with my power probe. I just didn't test it with a amp meter. You know, so, and these, I'd have to look up the specs, but I think these are like 240 watts um, for the pair. And these will run, for the pair will run 20 amps, so that they're 10 amps a piece. 
does come with the supplied Allen key. Probably need to slide it over a little, but that's what it looks like with the mount on it. You need to slide it over probably a quarter of an inch. does come in out with an allen key per pack so they could have just put one allen key in the box but you know it's not not really that big of a deal Washer, nut, washer and washer for the Allen heads. They do seem like decent lights. When I did test the nine inches, they were pretty bright. So. I got both of them set up. Those were done. Put these to the side. Bring these back in. I did save if these actually do um, turn out to rate the way they're they, they are um, rated on the website. I might also buy the little four-inch spotter um, to put on my hood. So, and if they if they do rate properly, then yeah, that would also be kind of nice because um, then there would be a at least a decent light rated correctly instead of them fibbing you know because most places that sell cheap LED lights they fib It's just how it is. So this kind of turned into an unboxing slash assembly for the brackets. Um, I also will definitely do an install video. It is kind of nice that these brackets will actually slide up and down so you can you can tilt the the light which I think is pretty nice see you can actually 
actually tilt the light so the mount actually rotates which is pretty cool turn this down and I'll, I'll adjust them when they're on the truck to make them the way I want them but I'm just putting brackets on right now see what they look like with the brackets I guess I'll throw, you know, like one or two of these Allen keys in the truck. That way I have them if I need to adjust them or retighten them or something. It's pretty simple to assemble these. This is what happens when you use the light for two months, but don't charge it. It's pretty close right there. These are nice stainless bolts. So that's what it looks like with the both brackets on that one. I'm not gonna make this video too much longer. I'm gonna just assemble the other one and then um, we'll go from there. I thought maybe you guys would like to see you know, if the information they provide on the website is actually accurate or if they're just fibbing. Because, um, you know, I, I, I will tell you straight out, if I don't like these lights, I, I will let you know. I, you know, I, did, I didn't buy, pay much for them. These are, were a little more expensive than the ones my wife bought me from Walmart. Those were like 20 bucks, but they're... They were halogen lights. They're, they're not very bright. And I, I can't go any higher than a 130 watt bulb. And you know, the glass and you know, the desert here and the problem with the, the glass is the bottom ones that I had on the bottom of the Ram Guard, they actually, those are the, the, that's the third set because the glass keeps breaking because rocks keep bouncing up and hitting them. Just me driving down the road. So um, these have a like an acrylic or some kind of a plastic um, clear lens, which might take the abuse on you know rock rock abuse a little better. Get this one out of the box. Bag over here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, yeah. I got one, I got six of them, which means there's one per bracket.
might buy some uh, bigger washers or I might see if I have a little bit bigger washers because these washers are barely bigger than these slots. So it's going to put tremendous strain on the washers. I also probably see if I have um, lock nuts that I can put on the bolts instead of these. Um, yeah, because the the lock washer will help stop it from necessarily falling off, but it's not going to keep the nut completely tight to the point that it won't fall off. It's still a possibility, so. See if I have any um, lock nuts. Maybe some neoprene lock nuts will work. But thank you guys for watching. Um, this is what they look like. Get them lined up. That's what they look like. They are pretty decent. The whole house, outside housing, is aluminum. They do have nice bolts, and if you look inside, you can tell that there's actual bolts on the inside, which is actually pretty nice. So I think they're decent lights. You know, it is a downside that these are not seven inch like they claim, but. Um, some information on the box SMD LED triple row 15 degree spotlight for these 170 degree floodlight for these adjustable height brightness wide working voltage die cast shell these do from 10 volts to 30 volts and these do I think 10 volts to 30 volts also. Spot and flood combo light, adjustable bracket, wide working voltage, IP67, waterproof and dust proof rated. These are the second generation of the LED chips. They have a quality assurance testing. They're EC and, and REP rated. And this, the larger 9-inch color temperature white, um, both of these sets are 6,000K white. Um, these are 10 volts to 30 volts also. Working temperature negative 40 Celsius to 80 Celsius. Aluminum alloy shell PC lens, waterproof IP67 rated as well. This one have a product. Uh, yeah, the small sev supposed seven inches is X-ray 001 SS Sam Sam nine seven. Uh, Tony Jack, and bother LED light pack new eight nine six seven six zero. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon for future updates and check the all button if you want to see um, more frequent videos please go check out my Amazon affiliate links and um, I'll see you guys in the next video um, and let me know what you guys want to see um, I think they are pretty decent lights but I still want to do the testing to, to figure out if they are actually rated properly or are they just overrating them and making them sound better than they are? So I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.